Um, so let's see. What what did everyone think about the world that Cyberpunk? Oh, I love it. Whether it's the Badlands, Night mm-hmm. City, etc. Oh, I love it. No, I like, uh, I, yeah, I was go, thinking about, go. and I think I like the Badlands the most. I actually agree with you. I think it actually has the most personality. It has not only does it have the most personality, it has, you know, uh, string back to what I said before. It has the least broken promises. <laughs> you got yeah, for, for me. It's I love Night City so much. It's like whenever you come up out of a tunnel and you just see the the, the uh, skyline, especially at night. And you just see all the like holographic bill, b- billboards, and you see people walking, and you can you can enter all the different bars and clubs, and oh my god, I love Afterlife so much. <laughs> just like the oh, this place used to be a morgue, and we named drinks after all the famous people who died. Like I don't know, like it's something about that just like futuristic dystopian cyberpunk, like this big city that I literally can get lost in for hours. I like, think very site- where I get into open world games. It's the world that gets me into them, and I am, like, knee-deep. Like, I am fucking swimming in it. (laughs) I think aside from, like, maybe, like, some of the specific bars, and I had to, like, double-check my PC settings to make sure I didn't, like, turn down crowds or vehicles to, like, save on processing power, but the world is incredibly freaking empty for me. Like, there's rarely, like, more than one or two cars out on the road. There's barely people walking around. And just, like, even aside from that, like, like... Like we can get into later is like with the story, but and and maybe this this goes more in the story because of because of the themes and whatnot. So you can kind of classify it under the world, but I feel like this game suffers from everything it does in terms of cyberpunk seems more like window dressing and aesthetics, and it doesn't really mm-hmm. address the underlying themes. Like I like I know this is probably going to be the game I consistently mm-hmm. go back to throughout the night. Um, Deus Ex, I never played the original, but uh, Human Revolution and what? and Mankind Divided. I ha- I own it. It's just very old and it's very rough on the eyes. Look at it so, from two thousand. That's not old right now. <laughs> it's pretty damn. It's twenty years old. Dude, give, I was playing with Transformers original, uh, when that shit came just, out. Just give the original Deus Ex a shot, please. I will, but but anyway, going back to uh, the I comparison the way, to Deus Ex, the exact same way. Um, the main story and the and and even the the side quests, like they exist there that to flesh out um, stuff like the morality of augmentations that which is like very inherently cyberpunk. And like the side quests here, it's mainly just like, I don't know, let's go do some mercenary work, go kill this guy, retrieve this information. And like that stuff could exist so easily without the the, the cyberpunk aesthetic that it just it, it doesn't mean anything to me. Well, I'm not arguing anything, but you're playing as a mercenary, though. No, I understand like, that. It's just that it's just it's just the world has doesn't actually care that much about actually embracing the themes of cyberpunk as much as just being a GTA clone. Yeah, have like, you done the side quests that, that aren't gigs, though? I've been doing every are, single side quest that comes my way. Okay, because I don't know if we're doing the same quest, because I'm getting certain quests that I don't want to spoil that definitely tackle the, like, all of the 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 aug- augmentation and the idea of the cyber side psy- 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 uh, psychosis not just the quest where you have to go against the people who went crazy but like actual quests that deal talking about it like characters in the first stage of it so i don't i don't know what quest you're doing but i mean but I've, i'm I've, finding those i've touched everything um that the game has given me so far like even to the detriment of like keeping a steady narrative with the uh, main story but like e- like even any stuff that does go into like the cyberpunk themes i just don't feel they're they're that substantial compared to basically anything else i've seen but uh dio you had something you wanted to say earlier yeah like uh harking to what you said about uh deus ex so even if a bit misguided uh deus ex tried on i think was human evolution or mankind divide not sure at uh, the Og's lives matter like Incredibly misguided stuff, but at least it tried. It tried to talk about uh, rejection of people with dogs, talk about 
tried talking about uh, biology and whatever. And Cyberpunk, the read doesn't do anything about it. Like I recall in 2012 when that first trailer came out, they talked a bit about how using too many OGs could uh, make you go crazy. Mm. Uh, and the game doesn't really do anything with you. Like it doesn't really do anything with you, with V. Uh, like I, I got my body fully customized and, and it doesn't mean a shit to the game. Uh, the factions that are heavily uh, augmented, it doesn't matter. Like they're just a faction. They're just bad. So the game really, it really feels like a window dressing. It doesn't feel like it's really talking about the teams it's trying to present. I think mm -hmm. one of the side quests I, I got, I constantly go back to in uh, not Mankind Divided, the uh, Human Revolution. There is people that are forced into uh, taking debts from um, from criminal organizations because there's people there's richer people that are paying for augmentations to give them uh, cognitive abilities and poor people have li literally no shot to get jobs um, as is, let alone with the rich literally augmenting themselves to be smarter. Uh, so they're forced into crime. They have these ridiculous debts that they have to pay off like that mm -hmm. still sticks. I mean, I'm just like, wow, that's that's a. That's a real issue that could come with uh, augmentations. That's that's interesting to go into. But um, Mesa, what are your thoughts on the world? Yeah, I mean, and you know, it's the, the cyberpunk lore, the cyberpunk does go into that, but the game doesn't. Like in cyberpunk, it's like you know, hey, if you have to take out a loan in order to have legs to walk and work, do you really own your legs? And the game doesn't address anything like that whatsoever. Um, um, the, the, uh, there are a few missions that they definitely do. Um, they definitely do. I think, I think they actually do explore like brain dances, the, 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 the media of the, of the series. Uh, for uh, those that don't know, uh, can you explain the brain dances? Yeah, so brain dances are basically like the like like virtual reality where you can just plug in and you sense and feel and see everything that's programmed there. I think they actually do go through those ethical questions quite well with the brain yeah. for brain dances, but I think that's mm -hmm. it. There's nothing really else that they that they even attempt at trying to question. And most of the brain dances that you see, at least for from when I'm mm -hmm. from how far I am, from how far I am in the game, it's it, you're seeing like the memories of like dead people, mm -hmm. and you're kind of like living through them like uh, via third person. Yes, like I believe the brain dances were supposed to be the the Gwent of uh, Cyberpunk 2077, but besides the main story and mm -hmm. i think a, a, some side quests you can't really do brain dances outside of those so why can't i watch brain like, why is there some brain dances that you can just enjoy yeah <laughs> you know <laughs> again what, what, what Broken I said. promises Broken promises yeah um what what life path did everyone start off with so for those that don't know there's there's three life paths it's nomad corpo and uh shit, street, kid. Street, uh, street, street kid street street kid okay um i went with uh corpo just like on a whim i didn't know anything about any of them aside from the little introductory text that they all got mm -hmm. um so I, I i don't know the extent to which how how different it is like is it is it basically from when you start to when you actually see the title screen which is like fucking like eight hours into the game no i think uh, no. the the real difference is just the first 20, 30 minutes, like 20, 30 minutes, and then yeah. some dialogue options throughout the game. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I started, or did anyone else go Corpo? No. No. <laughs> okay. Damn. I'm the only cool. one. Yeah. Uh, that's actually pretty interesting. So for me, um, you, you start off in corporate, you're going to go do some evil corporate spy shits. And then I think it's someone from, your company that you're working for, they betray you, they wipe out all your credits, they fuck your life over, blah, blah, blah. Uh, your best bro in the world, Jackie, who should have made it onto the best bro category of our awards, because he is okay, the best bro. He's a good bean. And I know I say this about a lot of people, but... 
<laughs> and I know Jackie said that, but Jackie is a good bead. I loved him with all of my heart. Like, you're right. If we get any good bro list this year, please let Jackie win. Like, he was yeah, so Jackie good. Does deserve. <laughs> See, he I, was so good. I would say, so, like, those first, like, 20 to 30 minutes, if, if that's, like, the only difference, I thought it was extremely underwhelming as Corpo. It's just like, yeah, let's go do this thing. And, yeah, no, we just took your shit. Uh, go start from from square one. So, did you guys do the apartment level that I think that was shown off in a trailer? Yes. Where you break in, there's yes. a naked lady. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that. So, I think the only difference because I went street kid for like for like I don't know what's what's the word for wool trans trans transparent. Um, I think the only difference is where you start out the the opening quest after where you start out like for me i had to go help the the bartender at this at this like local club because he because he made deals with like shady people and he's like okay i'll do it because you don't i feel bad you made deals with shady people and then you do the quest where you save um what's her name which i don't know if anyone got the side quest to go talk to her again but i did i did that quest it was really cool um Mm -hmm. yeah uh, you go help her, and that's when the paths become one. I think? Question mark. <laughs> so yeah, everyone I, did do the hotel, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I went uh, nomad. Cat. And I went street kid. Hey, I'm the only one nomad. <laughs> Personally, I think nomad is like to me, at least to me, based on seeing the three, what I've seen of the three paths, nomad feels like the one. Uh, that's what I was thinking because in the story I finally got to the where you go to the Badlands and like it already feels like pretty famili- familiar. I'm just like, wow, this probably would have been a lot cooler if I went Nomad beforehand. So, so what do you do in like that introductory uh, yeah. Nomad area? So, the introduction is basically you're in your car, you're getting it fixed, and then you leave, and then you got to meet meet up Jackie, and Jackie is there because you're smuggling something into the city with Jackie, who's this is the first time he's doing something like this and he's nervous. Oh, and so you try, totally. you try, you end up getting caught and you have to drive away from the police while shooting at them. Jackie almost crashes the car in the building and takes a break. Uh, you calm him down and then you look at what you're smuggling and what you're smuggling is, is a lizard. A lizard? <laughs> Which, if you look... <laughs> If you look in Arasaka's, uh, in um, was it the 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 younger Arasaka's room? He has a lizard in in the thing, and I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be the same lizard that you smuggle in. Okay, oh, I that... like I like little details like that. Mm-hmm. I, I love wow. that shit. Nomad is so much cooler than Corpo. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> plus, anything is um, cooler than Corpo. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, you get um, there's a mission where you have to. Where Alana Pierce refixes your car and you have to get it from her. Does she come with a gamer chair? <laughs> no, but she has gamer hair. That's true. And then I think you can actually pick her hair, like the hair she has in real life, as a hair option for female. Mm-hmm. The, if I remember correctly. Dia, what was uh, Street Kid like then? Hmm. <sighs> It's been s- for such a long time. Um, I can also help because I actually run. run no, oh, uh, Sarah just explained like uh, you need to help a barman uh, with a with a small fixer. Uh, you go to rob a special kind of car, and then Jackie tries to rob it from you. Then the cops show up at the. Uh, should have killed you, but uh, the the cops. Yeah, I think the 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 captain or whatever is a friend of Jackie's or no Jackie, so he just leaves you both uh, as soon as he can. And then the the cutscene that makes you end up doing the the mission with Dex uh, starts. Yeah, okay. that they like they like basically they like basically beat the. Sh- Shit out of you, throw, throw you guys yeah. away together, and neither of you know one another. And like you and Jackie are just like sitting, sitting on the sidewalk, both being just depressed. And then Jackie's like, you know what? My my mother makes great food, and your character's like, are are 
are you asking me to dinner? And Jackie's like, well, yes. And you're like, fuck yeah, I want, I want some of your mom's food. And, he's like, <laughs> and it's legitimately, it's a really, really great. I thought it was a really great like friendship thing where it's like, we're friends now. My mom's going to make you food. <laughs> And then it's just awesome, like, uh, what's the word? It's just, like, awesome, like, uh, montage of you guys becoming best mm-hmm. best friends. And then it leads into the to the, to the the decks or to the pre-decks. Okay, mission. so I, I think it's fair to say I easily chose the worst. Uh, I, starting. Think, I, think you start out, I think you start out with more money. I think I, I heard that. Yeah, Corporal starts off with more. Yeah, with the, more uh, I, I did get Eddie. that. See, that's, you got, you got, you got Eddie's. I, I want the friends along the way in the lizard <laughs> store. I don't have a lizard story. You can actually get a cat. I did not know this. You can oh, yeah, get a cat. I got a cat. It doesn't do anything. I did not get a cat. Uh, it just sits there. But you can pet the cat though. Which is which it. is which is nice. Uh let's let's see. Uh, oh, I actually missed one thing. Um, so I'm I'm playing on PC. Uh, I don't think the game is that visually stunning. Keep in mind, I'm not doing RTX, but this is still 1440 on on high settings, near maxed out, and it looks like a PS4 game. I, I, I think it looks nice on PS5. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, but I think it looks really, really nice. It's like. I- I just don't see why it's so demanding on on hardware for what it is. Like it's it's not like yes, it's an open world, but with like all the buildings, you know, there's rendering tricks and whatnot that developers can take to save uh, processing resources. And so I'm just like, I look at everything in there. I'm just like, I I, I don't see how the hardware is justified. And then uh, I, my my poor boy Keanu, I don't I don't think his face model looks that great. It looks like super flat. <laughs> He's like, oh, pale. So like, like, let, let me see your sweat pores. I want to see your sweat pores, Keanu. Well, like, you sweat on a me. Part of me. A part of me thought it looks weird when he, t- when he takes his glasses off, like, because you see him all the time with them on. But then you just realize, like, he's what, like a 48 year old ro- washed up rock star. And I think it kind of fits. He's just like, leave him on. Leave him on. In that regard, yeah. Because <laughs> that's really what he is. He's like a 40 something year old washed up rock star who started a riot that caused the nukes to go off. So I mean, like, <laughs> Like he's like, okay, he's gonna look a little fucked up. 